They drafted Trevor Lawrence. Uh, didn't do too hot, so uh, they had a pretty good pick this season as well. Uh, but how did they draft this year? Well, first off, I was incorrect because I was scrolling through my notes going to Jacksonville. I looked, and I did not give the Texans my best draft grade, and I certainly didn't give it to the Jacksonville Jaguars either. The Jacksonville Jaguars do things that make me wonder how they are still a franchise. I mean, they do stuff sometimes that I'm just like, yeah, how, what, you know, I, they Christian Kirk for $80 million. You inflated the entire wide receiver market and screwed everybody else. And you got a wide receiver two for wide receiver one wide receiver pro bowl wide receiver one. No, for, for price like that, I, you paid, they paid way too much. Christian Kirk is the what fourth highest paid wide receiver in the league right now. Yep. That is crazy. That is crazy. I don't believe that. That that should not exist. So, anyways, on to their round one picks. <clears throat> they took the fourth best defensive end in the draft at pick one. Trayvon Walker, though, was good. He didn't have the sacks that everybody was looking for um, with his tape like, like Thibodeau did and like uh, Aiden Hutchinson did. He didn't really have a lot of those numbers. He was just an impact guy off of the edge who is really kind of a run stopper and a contained defensive end. So... But that being said, like I said, they they got the they got the fourth best defensive end at the at the round one pick one spot. So it's just I was I was really kind of confused. But at the same time, I I did kind of understand it because they couldn't take Hutchinson. That was up to greater powers. I, I don't know if Hutchinson went to them and was like, "Listen, I'm going to Detroit. I'm not playing for you." Uh, but I think there was a possibility that a conversation like that happened behind closed doors. So. With that being said, they go with Trayvon Walker with the first overall pick, and I just, I just wasn't really that impressed. I, I wasn't. I thought there were, I thought there were three other defensive ends who were better at that at that spot. Will he come in and be an impact guy day one, and will he start? Absolutely. I really do think that, and I think that he could have a long career ahead of him and all that. But I just, I don't think that was the right spot for Trayvon Walker. With that being said, uh, at the end of round one, they got Devin Lloyd, linebacker out of Utah. On the other hand, this pick was really good. I like the Devin Lloyd pick. Um, he's a great linebacker out of Utah and a guy who, like last year with Zayvon Collins, just, just didn't get the right publicity that he needed and just kind of fell in the draft. And I always thought he was better than what people gave him credit for. Same here with Devin Lloyd. So Devin Lloyd, I like how they closed out the first round, and I like how they started the second round as well. I mean, with the third round, with Luke Fortner, center out of Kentucky, nice offensive lineman who's going to be a day one impact guy for them as well. And they got him in the third round, so you can't go wrong with that. This is where I get a little shaky, though, from here on. Chad Mama, linebacker out of Wyoming. I just, I wasn't, I wasn't a big fan. A lot of people are 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 really in the hype on him, and and especially for, um, you know, a lot of people say that Mama to Duval County was the best player team fits in the entire draft, or one of them. I don't think it will be. I and I could be totally wrong. Um, but I'm just not a, I'm not biting on their draft at all. And uh, same with uh, Snoop Connor, running back out of Ole Miss. I think they've already got enough running backs. I don't think that they, especially they didn't need to get one of these guys like Snoop Connor, who was just a depth guy. Then after that, they get Gregory Jr. You know, uh, he went to o o Wichita Baptist. I don't, I don't even know where that is. But uh, Gregory Jr. in the sixth round, I thought that, you know, they just then, then they went with a cornerback as well in the, in the seventh round. They did need some cornerback depth, but overall, I just really wasn't a big fan of, of their draft. And their best pick for me was Devin Lloyd at, at round one, pick 27. And on their overall draft grade, I didn't give them too bad of a grade. I still gave them a C plus, but I just, I still, I wasn't, I wasn't really biting on this one. Yeah. You 